Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Through the Ashes with me, Bring It On. I did decide not to rest. Because every time we do, we take more ability damage. And we really can't afford to keep I doing thought. that. I don't need anyone sympathy. A little bit more health to see if she can't stay alive. Everyone counts on me. Also, I'm gonna turn off power attack. Enemies don't have a lot of health, so I don't need to hit hard. I just need to hit. And so the penalty I'm taking from that is not worthwhile. My uh, same argument for fighting defensively. Follow my now let's keep trudging along and hope for the best. We should move. Rolling twos is not the best Let's use of those out. scrolls, but the dice have spoken. A right, door there, a path here. Their flask. So we're not gonna go outside yet. Thirty percent chance. Well, I'll hold off on that for now. We might hit level two while we're down here, so I put another point in the trickery for Rakarth. Or maybe we even find some tools to help with that. Alright, so let's open that from the other side. Okay, I see. Let's go up here. Strike from the shadows. Attack! Oh, wasn't quite in position. Well, this boulder seems to be just waiting to roll down. I pity whoever's standing in its path when that happens. Attack! It's you or me. All right, go around, dude. Aim carefully. There we go. Hey. Has some uh, monitor li lizard scales. I said monitor li lizard. I uh, should delay poison. That would come in handy. A first aid kit. So a set of basic medicines essential for using the treat affliction ability consumed when used. Some money and scroll of enlarged person. Our duty calls. All right, let's use this on him. Oh, we cured our demon plague. Let us be careful. I shall not fail. All right, let's guide him. Never a dull moment. Well. It's done now. Okay, we do have another flask. Don't know, don't care. The road awaits. Why do I Let have to do this? Is he the best at it, buddy? Ah, I managed it. I have more flasks of acid. I'm going to give one to each person. I'm assuming whenever we have to use this against an enemy, it'd be best to just hit him with a whole volley of flasks. Alright, let's check this out. There's a path over here. Scroll of Bless. Some mushrooms down there. Milorn. Eh? Who's there? The dwarf's tangled red hair is matted with slime of dubious origin, and there are strands of web and gnawed spider leg caught in his beard. Countless bags, test tubes, and alchemical tools hang off the belts that crisscross his body, and a large, ugly purple growth mars his neck. Who's making noise up there? Are you the ones making this racket? Who are you? You're asking me who I am. Perhaps it is I who should ask who you are. 
The dwarf scoffs indignantly and stares you down with his piercing green eyes. The growth on his neck opens a third eye and looks at you with even more suspicion than the first two. Are you inquisitors? Investigators? Tax collectors? I fled underground to get away from you bloodsuckers, but you followed me here. Get lost. Milorn Brewer owes you nothing. Wait, you're Milorn Brewer? Oh wow. Everybody thought you died when your laboratory got blown sky high. As if. Do you really think Milorn would be hoist with his own petard, like a ham-fisted apprentice? Not going to happen. The alchemist scoffs. I blew up my laboratory when those parasites decided to seal it up. The investigators can bugger off, and so can the taxmen. We're being held prisoner by cultists and have just escaped. Do you share any weapons or supplies? Can I? Of course I can. I have plenty of stuff. Some of it I dug up, some was carried here by the river, some of it I got through trade. Except that does not mean that I will share it. Giving out supplies for free would be too much. I crawled underground to get away from beggars like you, and now you're pestering me even here. Ah, but I guess we could trade. I'll take your gold. Don't even try to bargain. If you haven't got any money, we can barter. You know mushrooms. The yellowish ones that glow, very tiny, on thin little stalks. You can use them to brew so many wonderful concoctions. Bring them to me, and I'll pay you in solid gold. What have you got there? A rope. Good and strong. I could use one. I'll give you a good price if you decide to sell it. I'd rather you not sell it. The Christ speaks quietly so the alchemist does not hear him. We may need this rope ourselves. Uh, what's that on your neck? Oh, this? Uh, the dwarf smiles tenderly, plucking the meaty growth from his neck and scratching it like a little critter. It opens its eyes and purrs happily. Be Quinny, my dear companion. Uh, that's short for quintessence, and she's very smart. Who's a smart girl, Quinny? You're a smart girl. Yes, you are. Have a treat. Alchemist untangles a dead spider from his beard, feeds it to his pet, and sticks the growth back on his neck. Demons have invaded the city, and Arbus is burning. It is? Aha, ha ha. The dwarf guffaws, slapping his thighs. Good riddance. They drove me out. Now the demons are here. They have nothing to defend themselves with. I bet they regret missing out on my bombs. Well, it's too late now. I'm not going back. I don't bother asking. How do you survive down here? Actually, I like it better here than in town. The place is roomy, the food is plentiful, and the ingredients for my experiments grow underfoot. Best of all, there are no busybodies to get on my nerves, ask what I'm brewing, or demand I give them money. Now what are these ruins around you? It looks like an abandoned village. Mongrels used to live here. You know, the horned boogeymen from old wives' tales about monsters that lurk underground. It turns out the tales were true after all. They're fine people, by the way. They keep themselves to themselves. I trade with them once in a while. I didn't drive them away from here, if that's what you're asking. The cave was already abandoned when I came here, so I made myself at home. Waste not, want not. Uh, want to trade. Now you're talking. Alright, so we can equip ourselves a bit. We don't have a lot of money to do so. Gosh, she doesn't buy this for anything. She buys that for four. I'm gonna waste my time with that. He buys these for 20 a piece. I don't know if I'll need those later or not. Alright, so it looks like he sells a little bit of everything weapon wise, a few things armor wise, alchemist kit. Ingredients. Some bombs. Okay. Are you again? What else do you want? Your loiterers are breathing my air. Now why are your prices so ridiculous? You don't like my prices? The dwarf gestures at the empty cave around you. Feel free to browse. Talk to the other merchants. I'm sure they will give you a discount. Ha ha ha. We'll save Freda for last, since that's probably going to create conflict. I'll call Lingrat. You like music. We have a famous violinist with us. We can ask him to play you a song if you like. Music, you say? That's nice. I say my ears deserve a treat. The silence here makes them sad. 
Bring me your fiddler and let him scrape away. There's one thing you can't find underground. It's good music. I even shed a tear. Well done, lad. There's a little something for your effort. Hey, 15 gold. Like, I want to buy a battle axe and a shield for the main character. But I don't know if equipping myself for battle is the best use of my money here. There might be other tools that I need more. Push comes to shove. Here's a shortcut back. Elevator. Let's see what's down this path before we go that way. I stealth just to be safe. Did I see a spider swarm in this general direction somewhere? It did. Let us bide our time. Yeah, immune to physical damage from a weapon, so I have to use bombs against this guy. Or any other elemental scrolls that I might have, which I don't have. Let's not use this yet. I'm gone. There might be an easier way later. Maybe we'll find. Well, I have a torch as well. But only the one. And by the time we cut him down with that, we'll probably be dead. So, well, hold on. I have... How long does this last for? One hour per level. Alright, so we'll hold on to that for now. Now that we have those tools available to us to take out that spider swarm. Let's go check out this way first. Maybe we'll find something else that will help us deal with that. Yeah, it's another spider swarm. Okay. The road awaits. So this is what we'll do. I serve the Crusades, strange as it sounds. Quick save. Careful, everyone. Oh, we killed it. I wonder if the acid is a guaranteed kill against these guys. Let's get back to the other one then and see what he's guarding. Since we still have that delay poison potion up. Follow my steps. Using clever tactics now. This fight won't be my last. Heck yeah. Thank goodness, spider swarms, even in like the main campaign where you're not so weak, are 
real pain in the butt to deal with. Let's head out. So I've been having a lot of luck with these on the cars specifically. All right, quick save and continue. I shall not fail. Not sure why I can't still. Stealth up again anyway, just to be safe. Let's scout with Ricard. I should have been playing this way the entire time. A giant spider. Our duty calls. I'll split you. None shall escape. Oh, there's two of them. This doesn't mean to poison. Learn from my mistake. You're going down! They're not, though. Die! My wounds pile on. You're not a threat. You're an obstacle. Aim carefully. Not sure why she ran forward like that. This is not the end. All right, that was an ugly fight. We got a little bit more smoothly had I, I not be been in stealth mode at the start of it. All right, so we can go that way. The mission must be carried out. A okay, quick save. Uh -huh. I've survived worse. Heck yeah. Let's strike from the shadows. So again, I'm wondering if these mushrooms are just meant to be sold. It doesn't say it could be using crafting recipes, so I think we just sell these to... What's his face? A giant spider. I think we have to. I'll cut you. Watch each other. Learn from my I'm mistake. still alive, at least. Quickly. We'll collapse here in a second. Never mind. Oh, thank goodness. A sharp claw. Alright, two whole health is back. <laughs> My goodness. Alright, another one of these. Sneaking. Another quick Enemy save. Near. Oh, goodness. Near them. Forwards? Hear you cry. Learn from my mistake. Tread lightly. All right, quick save. Knowledge world goes to, I believe, Rikarth, right? We should move. We must act. It's done. Uh, the old masonry is holding well. Really an example of Mandevian architecture. May not be pretty, but it is built to last. That's all you can ask for. Son of a gun. Be careful, everyone. A solid plan. Forwards! Right. 
from my mistake. Yeah, immune to precision damage. That's no good. Here, I guarantee it. I hope she's still alive. End. That's something. My mission has ended in failure. Attack! Why don't we just keep kiting back, one damage at a time? Aim carefully. Oh, what are you doing? Every time I try to click on it, she runs towards it. Find Zap is ranged. No reason for that. All right. <laughs> oh, rotten longbow. Another potion. You heard back here. <laughs> this is what I have to do. I have to equip everybody with crossbows and bows and just keep kiting around. By the way, he gets the potion because he is the main character. And his potions are acting as a pseudo form of plot armor in this DLC. Something here. Oh, an alchemist kit. Good thing I didn't buy the one from the other guy. Quick save. No time for standing around. Earth Scout. So close to leveling up, but we're not quite there yet. A regular light crossbow. Congratulations. Please focus. At this way, we have a path. This way. We saw loot over here. Maybe we should check this out first. Sneaky. There's a key. But we also saw this over here. A short sword? Heck yeah. You know what? You don't need this as much since you have a bunch of strength damage. <laughs> so let's um I'll just keep her safe. Maybe I'll give her a ranged weapon. It's all sham stuff, maybe that's not worthwhile. We have a shortcut back at least. Six is outside. And where does that take us? So this is definitely the way forward, right? It's even marked on the map. Right, so we need to go back to that way. This requires a key that we don't have yet. It's probably in this direction. Oh, we did level up. Awesome. All right, let's take care of that. Level two, we get a bonus combat feat, and we get Fearful Might. So a second level, a Dragonair Sign gains a plus one bonus on Persuasion skill checks made to Intimidate. This bonus increases the plus to a sixth level, and by an additional one every four fighter levels thereafter to a maximum of plus five at 18th level. Athletics. I'm actually gonna grab Use Magic Device here, because I think we need to. 
And it also fits with the roleplay aspect. Obviously, if he was taught Knowledge Arcana, he'd be taught how to use magic devices. Well, maybe not obviously. But he tried to use, uh, learn to use magic devices, compensate for his inability to use magic. Um, so yeah, we'll go with that. We might end up having to rely on that anyway, so <laughs> we'll see. And then here... Is it is such a low level campaign, I think. Oh, it's a bonus combat feat. I just get dodge. It's only against fatigue and exhaustion. Shoot. I need I need saving throws. <laughs> Don't think we can get any here. Um not going to get that because we get it later, though it would be really handy early on. Oh, this is tough. I'm going to grab this. Because we did have... Well, there wasn't an Intimidate check, was there? Either way, this DLC relies more on skill checks, and since I'm a charisma based character, I'm going to focus on that, kind of lean into that uh, part of the character. Uh, so Intimidating Prowess... Your physical might is intimidating to others. I do strength modifier to persuasion skill when used to intimidate. Uh, checks in addition to your charisma modifier. For her, she gets a bonus combat feat in bravery. A uh, bravery starting at second level. A fighter gains a plus one bonus at will saves against fear. This bonus increases by plus one for every four levels beyond second. Not super handy here. Alright, for her, uh, let's give her weapon focus short sword since that's what we currently have equipped. No, she's a dagger. Now let's do. Don't really like most of my options here. I'm trying to think of like how to make it more survivable. Um well, you can't multi-class. Really blanked on that part. <laughs> Don't need to though. Uh let's see. Don't want to give her weapon focused dagger, but I might have to. I'm gonna give her that, and then she's gonna. We're gonna find like a, a great hammer or something for her to use. I mean, she will. She's meant to be using a shield, I think. But we don't have one. We can buy one. I just don't know if it's worthwhile here. Maybe initiative, since combat's so short. Tough call, because I don't know what we're gonna find. And there's no guarantees. Like we're surviving on daggers. We found one short sword. That's our best weapon. Um, let's go with that. Alright. Our slayer gets a slayer talent. So as the slayer gains experience, he learns a number of talents that aid him and confound his foes. Learning a second level and every two levels thereafter, a slayer gains one slayer talent. So he can take rogue talents and slayer talents, counting his slayer level as rogue level. After second level, the Slayer can select a ranger combat style, such as archery or two-weapon uh, combat, and gains a combat feat from the first list of that style. The first feat list of that style. He can choose feats from a selected combat style, even if he does not have the normal prerequisites. After sixth level, he may select this talent again, and add the sixth level ranger combat feats from his chosen style to the list. After tenth level, he may select this talent again, and add the tenth level ranger combat feats from his chosen style to the list. Alright, I uh, really want to go into Lore Nature here. I guess Athletics because he has it. And honestly, Stealth might be worthwhile. Could do Canny Observer. I could see that being useful here. Um, might be better on my Cleric though.
We're doing this. Two-handed weapon, great fortitude. To combat style feat. So at second level, a ranger must select one combat style to pursue. Ranger's expertise manifests in the form of bonus feats at second, sixth, tenth, fourteenth, and eighteenth level. He can choose feats from his selected combat style, even if he does not have the normal prerequisites. And we're going to grab Great Fortitude. You get a plus two bonus and all Fortitude saving throws. Why is that not an option for my... Oh, because it's a bonus feat. That's right. It's a bonus combat feat. That's why I couldn't select Great Fortitude on my main character. If I knew this was going to happen... Oops. When I created my character, I would have selected Great Fortitude. <laughs> as my starting feat. Alright, so she gets nothing here. Besides more spells, of course. Uh, low Religion... Nice device. I'm going to equip those spells before I forget. More healing. I serve the Crusades, strange as it sounds. Right. Karth gets a rogue talent. As a rogue gains experience, she learns the number of talents to aid her and confound her foes. During a second level, a rogue gains one rogue talent. She gains an additional rogue talent every two levels of rogue attained after second level. A rogue cannot select an individual talent more than once. And evasion. The character can avoid even magical and unusual attacks with great agility. The character makes a successful reflex saving throw against an attack that normally deals half damage on a successful save. He instead takes no damage. Helpless character does not gain the benefit of evasion. Alright, some ability. Trickery, of course, for that chest. Uh, perception will be handy. Knowledge world will be handy. And stealth. And here... Combat focus would be good. But I think I'm going to grab this. Or do I want... Skill Focus Trickery. Let's do Skill Focus Trickery instead. I don't want to be locked out of stuff. You have plus 3 bonus on all checks involving Trickery. If you have 10 or more ranks in Trickery, this bonus increases to plus 6. I think we can go back to that other chest now. We'll hold off on that. So I'm going to call the episode here. In the next one, we'll check out this path. Uh, we also have this mobility check back here. Somewhere in here. I think it is right here. And we also have this chest to go back and loot. And this door to open at some point. Wherever it's at. Where's that door? There's a locked door somewhere. Oh, there's also this door to check out. Oh, here it is. Wait. Walk in here? Oh, no, it's on the other side. That's right. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to call it here. We'll take care of all that next time. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.